This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And a welcome back. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. July is National Ice Cream Month and Dairy Queen is celebrating in a big way. And Samantha Croy has more. Hey, Samantha. Thanks, Ella, and good morning. In case you didn't know, July is National Ice Cream Month, so of course I'm at the Dairy Queen in Kirksville surrounding myself with ice cream, and this morning I'm learning from Angela how to make a blizzard. So what's our blizzard that we're making today? We're making the Good Morning Heartland KTVO Blizzard of the Month, and it has Oreos, ch ooh, coffee flavoring, and chocolate fudge in it. And the coffee, of course, because you don't need to drink coffee while you're watching Good Morning Heartland, you can just get a KTVO Blizzard. Right. All right, so walk me through the process. Okay, so we have a small blizzard cup and we're gonna fill it all the way full of ice cream. Perfect. Try to get my curl to yep. work. And you're using vanilla ice cream, but you can use other yeah. ones. You can ask for chocolate or twist if that's what you like. And then you put your collar on top so it doesn't fly everywhere. Half a pump of coffee. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Gotta get a little of the fudge in there. Yeah, cold fudge. And then it'll get two scoops of Oreo. That's probably my favorite. I always go for the Oreo ice cream. It's a classic. People love it. Yeah. And then you're going to mix it on your blizzard machine. Look at that. And to get it all out of the collar. Throw your collar away. Make sure and voila. she's upside down right thick. Uh huh. It's done. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna, if you don't mind, I'm just gonna grab a, a spoon here. Gotta make sure it's edible for everyone. That's perfect. That is like the best coffee that you could ever have in the morning times 10. That's what I think. I think so too. Well, thank you so much for joining me this morning. When we come back, we're gonna go ahead and talk about a new little treat that you guys have here that involves ice cream, of course, for the national month of July. But for now, we're gonna send it back to you. Welcome back. As we mentioned earlier, July is National Ice Cream Month and Samantha's hanging out at Dairy Queen and let's check back in with her. Hey, Samantha. Thanks, Ella. If you're just joining us, I'm at the Dairy Queen in Kirksville because July is National Ice Cream Month, so enjoy it and celebrate. I'm celebrating by surrounding myself with ice cream and Julie here is going to be showing me another dessert treat that involves ice cream that you guys have here to offer. Yes, I'll be showing you how to make the apple tart. Wonderful. So right now, you pulled it out earlier, it was frozen, and then you just stuck it in the little oven here, and it's just warming up. Right. So now take it out, and what is our, walk me through that process of, of what you do after you take it out. After we take it out, we will cut it in half. Ooh, it looks great. I'll let you swing in front of me. Like okay. That. Oh, it smells great. It so you gotta good. make it look nice yeah, too. You do. All right. Of course, some ice cream because I already told you that it had to involve ice cream. Let's put a little ice cream, and then we will add some caramel to it. Wonderful. Now, do you usually always use vanilla ice cream? Yes. Okay. And who doesn't love caramel? That's perfect. And voila. That's it. That's it. Oh my goodness. I need a job here. Can you can you make that happen? <laughs> I probably try. All right, Ella, sorry I'm not gonna come back this morning, but I am gonna dig into this. So thank you so much for joining me this morning. Make sure to enjoy National Ice Cream Month. And Ella, we're gonna go ahead and send it back to you.